Hello friends, you have found the Read and Feed video series or the Read and Feed YouTube channel where we read God's Word and feed our souls. My name is Joe and I am the host and we have been reading a chapter a day and today we are on chapter 26 and what I do is I pray, I read, I share a thought and you guys can join in by commenting in the comment section. So hopefully for those of you that have been uh, reading along, um, it's been a blessing to you. It has been for me. And let's pray. Father, we thank you for this word that we're reading today, Proverbs 26. We know it's wisdom for us. So Reveal yourself to us as we read. In the name of Jesus, amen. As snow in summer and rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a flitting sparrow, like a flying swallow, so a curse without cause shall not alight. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence, like the legs of the lame that hang limp, is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds a stone in a sling is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. The great God who formed everything gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. The lazy man says, there's a, lion, there's a lion in the road. A fierce lion is in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does the lazy man on his bed. The lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. It wearies him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy man is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. He who passes by and meddles in his own in a quarrel, not his own, is like one who takes the dog, takes a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws firebrands and arrows and death is a man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out. Where there is no tail bearer, strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle, contin, to kindle strife. Words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles as they go down into the inmost body. Fervent lips and a wicked heart are like earthenware covered with silver dross. He who hates disguises it with his lips. He lays up deceit within himself. When he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart though his hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it roll back on him. A lying tongue hates those who are crushed by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. And that is Proverbs 26. Wow. I can see the sun kind of rising up behind me. That's pretty awesome. God is good. Um, I want to speak to those of you that, you know, this is a, one of the last verses I read. It's verse 27. Uh, I want to speak to you because this happens to all of us at one time or, or another. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. And he who rolls a stone will have it roll it have it roll back on him you know sometimes as much as we 
try to be at peace with others. There's always going to be someone who doesn't like us, whether it be a, a neighbor, a co-worker, or even someone in the family. Hopefully it's not your spouse. <laughs> but when you, uh, when someone digs a pit, it's like they're digging a pit for themselves. And if someone's trying to do something against you, know that God knows these things. And his law, like his ways, the way he set up our, our actual existence on this earth, that when people do things um, to um, bring you harm, God knows. He says here, and he who rolls a stone will have it roll back on him. And so even for us, if we are ever in a situation where we feel like we need to be avenged and we will get our revenge, bring those things to God. And he is a fair judge. He is a fair God. So, I mean, there's so much more in this Proverbs, but I just wanted to focus on one. Um, have a great day. I'm excited about tomorrow because my friends, uh, Sean and Amanda, are bringing the word. They're going to read Proverbs 27. So I'm excited about that. Um, well, thanks for reading with me. God bless you. We will see you next time. Oh, yes. And if you're on YouTube, like it, subscribe. It. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and um, God bless you. Bye.